She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Right, so I went to the gym. Most of you guys probably know that I used to weigh 32 pounds heavier than I am now. And that's around maybe, I think, 17 or 18 kilograms. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the things that helped me to get to where I am now. I'll take you through what I eat in the day. I think, no, it might be a week, actually. I'm probably not going to show you today because it's quite late right now. Maybe tomorrow. But I want to specifically do this video about not feeling restricted when you want to lose weight. So when you've come to the realization that you want to lose weight or you think, okay, I think it's time to lose weight, it's usually something that kind of hits you hard. I mean, for me, it hit me in a way where someone else actually called me out, you know? I mean, I talked about it before, but for me, it was a horrible boy that my friend was going out with at the time. He took it upon himself to tell me that I was fat. And although I was not fat, well, I wasn't what I would consider to be fat anyway. But I had put on a significant amount of weight and just hearing someone else say it to me was just, it cut me so deep. Even if it's not in a way where someone's fat shaming you, even if it's just like you've gone and weighed yourself and you are significantly more than you thought you were in your mind or you remembered you were. It just sparks this kind of feeling of almost guilt. Like if you've never been in the situation before, um, you might not understand. It is just like a sudden urge that you just feel so guilty and so sad that you've done this yourself you literally start having like these flashbacks back to like times where you've been sitting on the sofa eating ben and jerry i was like damn how could i eat ben and jerry's every night look what i've done to myself and you just feel like you want to erase things you want to start again and that kind of rush of negative feelings just makes you want to do something really really fast makes you feel like oh my god i have to get out of this body this is not me oh my god oh my god oh my god i want to undo everything that i've done i think that's what leads people to doing like cleanses or very restrictive like i don't know 800 calorie diets but i learned the hard way trying to lose weight out of shame panic that overwhelming feeling of oh my god i need to be out of this body fast that's what leads to the restrictive dieting that's what leads to you feeling like you are restricted if you are trying to lose weight and it doesn't have to be like that you know whenever you have this like sudden urge like you have to diet very fast go on a cleanse i don't know eat nothing <laughs> you kind of have to really take a step back step back and say you know what i'm still me this is me the same legs that got me through all these years same belly that helps me digest my food but i'm just gonna work towards slowly becoming healthier and doing little things that will help me get to my goals in the end you have to get out of the mindset of trying to run away from your body and more into the mindset of trying to make healthy habits or a healthy routine that helps you to get to where you want to be Losing weight is all about consistency. It's about making the right choice most of the time. Today I'm having a grilled cheese toasty and instead of having, you know, white bread with loads of butter and an excessive amount of cheese, I'm making a grilled cheese toasty in my own healthy way. Once you start making these changes in a way that feels more natural and suitable for your lifestyle, you'll master one thing and then you want to make another change for the better and another and another until literally you see food in a completely different way. I would avoid any kind of super strict diets and obviously super strict is going to mean different things to different people. If you're an athlete for example you need a lot of energy so doing something like a low carb diet might be quite restrictive for you. I mean, I don't even do really low carb diets because I, mean, I like bread and I'm not gonna not eat it for the rest of my life. And if it's not something that you can really stick to, you know, for the rest of your life, then you will 100% put all the weight back on and probably more once you start eating normally again. But anyway, here is my grilled cheese toasty. I added some chili flakes, pesto and salt and pepper for flavor. There's a difference between changing your life, transforming yourself, and then losing a bit of weight to fit into a dress, and then two weeks later gaining all the weight back. During all these like random diets I tried before, I always took my measurements, telling myself I have to be a certain size or a certain weight. And the problem was, whenever I got to that size, because I actually would get to the size, I would suddenly kind of lose motivation to carry on and then go back to how I was before. 
I know it sounds so dumb, but it's actually a common problem, not just with diets, but with a lot of things in life. When I let go of having like a very specific numbers-based goal and made it more about improving my life, improving myself, you know, something that has an ongoing thing. It's not something that has to end at a certain point. And the byproduct of that was just me getting into the best shape of my life. I just really had the motivation to keep carrying on and even till now I still have the same motivation and the same goal and I still love eating healthy. So that is my chicken and vegetable stir fry. I used a bag of pre-made pre-cut vegetables because it's just easier. Really you've got to eat smarter not harder. So I'm having a seafood spinach pasta with asparagus. This is my aubergine. Oh, I love aubergine. Um, what, what else is in it? Pesto. Pesto. Uh, and mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella, pesto and aubergine. That smells good though. Mm. <laughs> I love how they have the Lady in the Tramp music here. No, I know. We need some spaghetti. That actually looks so good. A lot of people think that they can't eat out if they're trying to get in shape, but I always choose really balanced meals or things that are very vegetable based. I like to choose once, maybe twice a week that I go out for dinner with my friends or my boyfriend. And then the other times we do something else like, you know, a workout class or just something fun. So I've just thrown in some oats and egg. This white stuff is baking powder. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear? That, that it's making a noise. So I'm just gonna pop in this banana. This is a big banana actually. So I'm just gonna pop in some banana. The great thing about having these jars, especially if you're like an overeater, not necessarily for this meal, but let's say if you're someone who, you know, you enjoy porridge or cereal or whatever, and you're trying to watch your weight, it's good to have it in these jars because you can see how much you've eaten. And it's just really good for portion control and just a rough estimate of how much you've eaten. I used to literally make cereal and not realize how much cereal I've eaten. I would just keep on, you know, having bowls and bowls after bowls and then realize, oh my God, I've just finished the whole packet. Just gonna add some milk. Just added in a little bit of, well, not a little bit, that's quite, <laughs> quite a lot, but I've added in some cinnamon and a little bit of salt. Not sure if that's a bit too runny because it should be similar thickness to normal pancake batter. Just gonna add some oats. It's more like it. So this is the kind of consistency I'm going for. Okay, so I've already made one. Those ones are still cooking. This should be ready. Well, this one actually I made first. So let's put this one over here. And then the next one, I think I'm going to make the rest of the batter and then these are the ones I'm going to eat, but I think I'm going to make the rest of the batter and save them for later. You guys know I love these like little cute jars. I got them from Amazon. So I pop them in the dishwasher just to give them a good clean. I think I probably need a few more nuts. So I'm gonna just go out, buy a bunch of nuts and then yeah, give them a little bit of a refill. So this is the Sweaty Betty, you know, turtleneck thing. <laughs> it actually goes like so high. <laughs> so if you, you know, aren't looking too good, you can just cover your face. I think it's specifically a base layer for skiing. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I feel very warm in it. And I've just popped it on um, so I can actually try it outside and see how I feel. I usually wear about three layers. Like I wear my actual clothes and then I wear, you know, the ugly kind of random cardigan or jumper that, you know, you just wear because you're cold, not because it's actually nice. And then I put on, you know, my nice jacket. So I'm gonna try and wear just this and my nice jacket and see how that goes. Oh, and also remember when I told you that I got my sister a Valentine's Day gift from Anna Luisa? It is here. So I packed it up in this box. I'm wearing the earrings now. So Anna Luisa is one of the brands that I partner with and I got me and my sister these matching earrings. And I think she'll be excited, you know? I was gonna actually send it um, to her via DHL because I thought it'd be cute like for her to, like for her to actually get it in the post, which is kind of cute, but I don't know if I trust them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go myself and pop it through the post or I'm gonna get my neighbor or my mom. This just 
came through the post today actually as well. Um, I got this from Farfetch. I got it because I'm going skiing soon. I just thought like I need something to carry my stuff in while I'm skiing. So I'm going to get like a little protective case for my camera, pop that in there and put all, you know, the stuff I need in the in this bag. This is from Perfect Moment and yeah, I just thought it was a really cool little bum bag. I love the design, I think it's really cool and it really goes with my ski outfit as well. My ski outfit is black, red, is this black? I don't know if it's black or navy. And my jacket is also from Perfect Moment. Anyway, I packed them all up. Oh, these are the glasses. Do you remember these glasses? I showed you them on, in well, if you have them on Instagram, I showed you them on Instagram. You guys said to get them. So yeah, I actually got them. So they're from Tommy Hilfiger. They came in this case. And yeah, I really, really like them. Shall I try them on? Give me a sec. Let me just, and what do you think? My old lovers fall into my covers Where they sink one by one Yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing Disposable as chewing gum There are deal breakers where Being hungry is only going to make you crave food and have a sad life We all have different levels of hunger So some of us are going to need more food than others Which is completely fine Always have some low calorie great snack options, you know, so you just never feel hungry. I love pimientos. Their peppers are really low in calories. Plus, they remind me of like nice Spanish holidays. I always order them at Spanish restaurants with some grilled garlic prawns. Okay, so I've just gone back from the gym. I always bring my own mat to the gym. So this mat I got from Amazon. I'll put it in the description box below. I'm still in my workout clothes actually. But I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. Yeah, I'm just gonna have an omelet. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star. Waiting just to wake up from the side rail. Or you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo. Talking in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could pay. I've been different pictures of what you thought. So I'm making a smoothie bowl. I put in some acai and then some chocolate cacao powder on the bottom. Some Greek yogurt on top as well. Just gonna put in some vitamin D drops as well. This is a mistake that a lot of people make. Just because something is healthy and nutritionally dense doesn't mean that it's low calorie. It's a balancing act because some of those things that are high in calories are still super nutritious. We just need to be a bit mindful about how much we're eating. When it comes to eating whenever you're hungry, that also means avoiding overeating or eating when you're not actually hungry. In today's world of everything being supersized, everything needing to be in excess, you've got to get around the root of the problem. Is it because you're eating out of boredom? Is it because you feel scared you're going to run out of food? I used to have this irrational fear that I might not have enough food later, so I would eat in excessive amounts at the time just in case I run out of food later, which obviously I never actually needed to do that. I like to get the mixed tortillas. This is white flour and wholemeal together. And the mustard I've used, you can kind of see it's like that grainy type mustard, you know, not the American style type mustard. This is a Dijon mustard. This is my chicken. I've showed you how to make this chicken in another vlog. I'll link it in the description box below. It's so good. So I've made it out of oat flour. So I've just blended some oats and yeah, made it out of old flour. So I dip the chicken in some eggs and I use paprika, cayenne pepper, thyme, just a bunch of seasonings, obviously salt and pepper. And it's so good to make it out of this because it keeps it nice and tender inside. You see how crispy that is? Then here's my boyfriend's plate. Obviously he is bigger than me, so he'll eat more. He needs a lot more to keep him kind of satisfied. The rest of the stuff I didn't use from the smoothie bowl, I put in here and I 
I've just made into little lollipops. So I'm gonna have one of these lollipops now. I got this thing on Amazon, but you can get it at any kind of supermarket, I think. Oh my God, guys, look what's come from Farfetch. Oh, you don't understand how excited I've been for these. Okay, let me show you what they are. Oh no, 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 it's this way. Okay, let's show. Oh my god, they're so much bigger than I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> I love them. Okay, look, this is my hand, and this is the boy. Well, you can't really tell. Um, let me put them on. Later. I'm starting to think it doesn't have to be this way. I don't have to wash away. If you struggle with overeating, I have a video called Model Diet Tips Anyone Could Do to Lose Weight. So maybe that will help you. I know I always say this, but it's so important. One of my favorite ways to get more vegetables is making some coleslaw because some white cabbage, the red cabbage, the carrots, it just makes it super colorful, crunchy, tasty, and just delicious, especially in coleslaw. And the best thing about making homemade coleslaw and even homemade food in general is that you can choose how much of the high calorie foods that you actually want in it. So for example, I did use a little bit of mayonnaise in this, but mostly Greek yogurt. have any chicken left. I usually meal pep chicken and have it in the fridge but I don't have any left but that's all I have to do. So that's it from me guys. Remember to like and subscribe. I will She's see you in the next video.